works out. Me and Stu both got out our typhons. Uh oh. Something doesn't sound good. Yeah. I'm running it. He, his is a 6S. Mine's a 3 to 4S. Well, 2 to 4S. They got the hobby wing in there. I don't think we should tear this up too much because uh, they uh, maintain it and they probably get pissed. Same with this stuff, but you can get away with it to a degree. To a degree. Do I have this turned down? I do. Okay, gyro's turned all the way down. Let's see how this one does it. I think I did it with the granite. Well, my wheels are spinning. They're like wobbly. Yeah. Uh, one of them's broken. Might be that one. I have a new set that I've reinforced with uh, tape and all that crap. I don't know, is this the broken one? I don't even think that's the broken one. No, this one. Is it this one? I can't tell. Anyway, I'll run them till they're unusable. One of those wheels is cracked, like the, the rim itself. Um, but I'm using it until it breaks completely and then I'm going to put the reinforced set on there. Oh! <laughs> oh, your car is indestructible. That thing's a tank. Thanks, bud. Let's see if we get some good flight out of something here. Where else were we? Oh yeah, I was... Ooh. Oh, nice uh, grass knot. I, this, I don't even think my camera is going to pick up all the way down there. I don't want to get too far away. Turn that gyro down so I have a little more control. Oh, nice. Oh. I can't believe that with these massive tires I just got stuck over there. Nice. They really, once they, uh, once they weed whack over there, it's going to be a lot more fun. Oh, sweet. It's a good little jump. If you can avoid the grass. My elbows are actually sweating. They're dripping sweat. <laughs> yeah, this, this grass beats the hell out of your car. How's the handling on yours? Fucking all over the place, <laughs> Stu. Oh me? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a bit. Oh. Oh. My car just stopped working momentarily. I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I lost throttle. I had no throttle. Yeah. Yes, that's a nice jump. See, this one handles, these tires are a lot better here than the Vortex tires. Yeah. I was getting knocked around everywhere.
You got the gyro on? Uh, not as much as I did with the Vortex. Oh! Face first. Yeah, I do have it on. Yeah. Those are good jumps over here, which is not close enough. Something kicked me in the ass over there. See, these have really nice vert. You could have a lot of fun on these, but there's too much grass right now. I'm, I'm tempted to bring a weed whacker over here. Dude, I'm bringing a weed whacker next time we come over here. Or maybe I'll just come some other time by myself and Oh, this grass stopped me cold. Uh, let's try to... <laughs> it wants to grab onto your tires and wrap itself in them. All right, I want to hit this one over here. Oh. Where am I? Oh, I'm coming up the side of this over here. <laughs> These videos I'm sure are tedious and boring. I, I really gotta figure out the editing. I'm sorry guys, but I haven't yet. I'm somewhat retarded and, and I mean in a very basic way. Not full on on the spectrum, but close. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is a sweet jump. Oh no, that had to kill it. No way, tell me it didn't break. These RPM arms, that just saved me guys, really. These should have broke. RPM arms, dude, my front suspension arms. I broke one, the Arma ones, so I replaced them with RPM, and I just flew through off that jump, off the first one, and it came down just like that, and it, and it Can didn't break. Can you tell the difference or not? Oh yeah, you, they, they look different. See, they're a little bit more oh, yeah. rounded. They're, yeah. yeah, they're strong. Nice. Yeah. So if you ever have to replace any of the arms, Get the RPM ones. They're a lot stronger. That's what I'm... As they break, that's what I'm going to do. Actually, you know, that, that wheel wobble might not be totally bad. Because it's kind of like taking the brunt of the the hits, you know? Oh, that wasn't good. Let's hit this sucker with this. Not a great one. Oh, I almost tore it apart with it, trying to fix the wheel. You see how much wobble that had? That was awful. See, I kind of want to get a, a whole new one because, I don't know, at this point, I, I'll see what the, those, uh, those larger diameter for the 8 scale tires, the 17 millimeter things, they get hollowed out and uh, you know so they wobble badly. But I know some of that is due to my tires about ready to shit the bed. Once I put the new ones on there they'll probably be better. 
probably be better with the new tires. Yeah, I've got a lot of wheel wobble. That would be fun to tear through if you, if you didn't want to make a nuisance, if you, or if you wanted to be a bad boy, be a bad boy for life. <laughs> nice. And you got zero wheel wobble. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, look at me. I'm way over there. Yeah. See what I get. Uh, actually, I, I, I didn't make fun of him. I just said, uh-oh. So I don't deserve this. At all. At all, you hear me? At all. See, there's wheelbarrows over there already for work. Oh, somebody's lined up. But this stuff's rough, boy. But if Oof. see this car's not dead yet. Uh, to tighten it up would mean buying more of those red uh, 17 millimeter. Um, they kind of go around the drive uh, the drive shaft or the axle rather. But they hollow out and the axles. They get thinner as well. They just get a lot of movement, a lot of banging and, and tapping, and, and it wears it down. I'm half tempted to turn the, you know, put um, regular sized axles on this and just run, uh, you know, 14 millimeter tires. And that would, but I don't know if that would be, I'd probably get bent axles a lot. These are beefier axles. This thing stays on the track. If any of them is good for track, this thing is. Oh, where am I? Over here. There I am. But I really gotta get those wheels tightened up. If there's anything I'd like to do with it, it's that. Oh! <laughs> oh! Yeah, I'd like to get a find one that's like in around two hundred dollars used on Amazon. Thinking about that, and just put this motor or this this ESC. I don't have a hobby wing motor in it, just a BLX, but you know, or a Typhon, a used Typhon body in a car, brushed. Brush would be fine. I wouldn't. I'd, I'd just transfer the good, oh, the good parts off this car, just so I could get a brand new, tight, <laughs> type and body. But I, I'd eventually wind up with the same problem. That's the, that's the issue. But you see, driving it through stuff like this, you see how bumpy it is. It, it would eventually beat the shit out of any car. And it still drives really well, so I guess I can't drive. It's a born flyer. Uh-oh.
My car just stopped. I know that's not the battery. It's just being a pussy. Let me feel the motor. Well, it doesn't matter. The motor is not allowed to shut the ESC off. That's not how they, they don't communicate like that. So apparently it's thinking my ESC is too hot. Oh, whoo, my ESC is hot as hell. Hmm. Well, it says it's supposed to be able to run on 4S and I'm taking it to its word. But I probably, yeah, um, my ESC just stopped my car because it's very hot. How'd this get all wound up in this? Oh, sorry. My video's still going. Yeah, so my car just pussied out on me and decided to stop. Now, it is very warm. But Stu's is still going. Yeah, but... Your ESC thermal shutoff might be set higher. Yeah, and I haven't been... Well, involved. plus it's 150 amp ESC. And this is only 120. Only 120, so... I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it back on. Because it's being a passing. Oh, Probably, uh... Oh, you mean drive somewhere? Yeah. Grab a drink? Yeah, sure. I don't have any Let's do it. All right. Uh, I will see yeah, you folks time. later. Thumbs up. See you.